Hi, it's Dustin Lanier. Thanks for listening. Please find me on LinkedIn for original public sector operations content every week. And please reach out to me if I and my team of procurement professionals at Civic Initiatives can help you be a public procurement change agent. So March is celebrated as procurement month in public procurement shops around the country. In my brief effort to do research, it looks like that's been going on since 2014. But regardless of the start, it's going strong and you'll see it through things such as mayor and governor proclamations, different in-person events by chapters, and then most notably on LinkedIn, which is my primary content channel, you'll see people that otherwise don't post very much making their way out to talk about what procurement means to them. So it's a great chance for you to encourage and support people who don't do content all the time to get out there and to be in the spotlight and to talk about some of what is important to them about procurement. So this month, Civic will do a couple of things related to Procurement Month in a content series around what's your why related to procurement. First, we are going to highlight four of our procurement professionals here at Civic Initiatives in some of our different practice areas. We have four different practices, acquisition operations, procurement transformation, and automation success, and then additionally, a client success practice. So we'll have a person from each one of those practices talk about what brought them to procurement, why they're passionate about this field, and how does their practice area support our procurement clients. I'll also chime in with an article on the 23rd, which will highlight some of the themes from those individual vignettes and extend with some thoughts on why I've never been more excited about the profession. And then on March 29th, we're going to wrap up the month with a webinar in association with the National Association of Education Procurement with three public sector higher education panelists that'll help me pick up that theme and talk about their why and also how we bring that energy to the next generation. In addition to that, I will be at the Virginia Association of Governmental Purchasing in two weeks where I'll be doing that keynote speech about talking it up which is the interactive unkeynote about talking about procurements and getting people talking to each other about how we bring the message of procurements to people where they are and not simply inside of our procurement community with all of our known language that maybe keeps us from communicating with people who aren't in this space. And then also I'll be doing a breakout on federal funding, a survival guide around some of the current issues related to federal funding and the kind of impacts we're seeing procurement shops try to absorb to make sure they're staying fully inside of the lines on all of this money and also get it out the door. So I'd love to hear from you on some of your why in procurement and certainly hope that you can chime in in that article on the 23rd with some of your why questions. So would love to see you there. And I also hope you can support some of my team members that'll be putting themselves out there with some content when that is definitely not what they do every day. And it's great to see people pick up the baton and come forward and talk about the profession. Mm